In this video, I will demonstrate Freshen. Freshen is a device management framework. Here I have an ESP32 board from Adafruit. Let me switch to Docs and follow the user guide. First, I log into freshencc Initially, I have no devices. I click on the Add New Device button and a new device gets registered. If we click on the OTA tab, we can see that it's disabled and the RPC tab is also disabled. So let me open Arduino framework and switch back to the documentation. At step two, I have to download freshend.h. This is a single header file that I need to integrate with my firmware. Scroll up, click on freshend.h and append it to my sketch. Add file. Okay, it has been added. Then on step three and four, I have to integrate freshen.h into my firmware by adding a few lines of code. Instead of doing step three and four, I scroll down and copy paste the whole Arduino example. So in this sketch, we set up Wi-Fi and we export one management function called echo. This function simply echoes back its input arguments. And then in the loop, we just call fresh and bold, poll dash, and we pass the version number and the device access token. Now I configure Wi-Fi, put the Wi-Fi network name and the password. Go to the dashboard and click on this link to copy the access token and paste it here. And click on this button to flash the firmware. So the sketch now compiles and gets flashed. So we see that the flashing is going on. Right, and we see that the device comes online. It reports the architecture, ESP32, and the firmware version 1.2.3, the same as we set it here. So if I click on the OTA tab, now I see that it's enabled, and the RPC tab, it's also enabled. If I click on the drop-down button, I see all the functions that device exports, the OTA functions, the rpc.list and info function are built in. For example, if we choose rpc.list and click on call device, we'll see all the functions that are reported by this device. If I select info and click on call device, I'll see the device information. And now I choose echo, click on call device. It does nothing. If I input some parameters, one, two, three, four, it should echo back that string. I click on call device and I see that string. Okay, let me update the firmware on this box. I click on the OTA tab. I go back to Arduino sketch and change the version to 1.4, for example. I choose sketch, export compiled binary. So the firmware gets compiled, but not flashed yet. I click on select firmware file and, and choose that bin file. So we see that the OTA process has been started. And it is complete now. If I click back now on the device information tab, I see that the version has changed to 1.4. To summarize, in this video, I have demonstrated how fresh and framework can be used to implement remote device control and over-the-air update. Thanks for watching.